Hi, and welcome to this video on flashing Calyx OS on your phone. So why would you want to flash a free operating system like Calyx OS on your phone? Well, for one, the manufacturer might have discontinued the support for the software on your device, in which case you don't get any more security updates on your phone and potentially you also can't install the newest apps anymore. Secondly, the device might have become slow to respond with all the pre-installed apps and trackers. This not only means that you're giving a lot of personal data away by default, but also uh, drains the battery on your phone a lot faster. So a free operating system generally supports the software on your device for a longer time and also has a lot fewer apps pre-installed and of course doesn't have any trackers. If you want to know more about our campaign, you can go on the FSFE website slash upcycling android. In this video, we are going to show you all the steps that are needed to flash Calyx OS on your phone on a GNU Linux system. And you will see that it is quite easy. On the Calyx OS website, we click on Get Calyx OS. And we are presented with two options here. One is to buy a new phone with Calyx OS pre-installed. And the other one is to install Calyx OS on your phone if you already have one. And since we already have one, we click on install. And now we're presented with a list of devices. Uh, and in, in our case, we have the Google Pixel 3. So we click on Pixel 3 and now are presented with a couple of different systems. Uh, as I said before, we are on a GNU Linux system, so we say install from Linux. The installation instructions page shows an overview of all the steps that are needed to flash your device. And I'll go through them with you together. So, the first part is about preparing uh, your Android device, which uh, basically boils down to enabling a setting that will allow us to unlock the bootloader um, which then allows us to flash the device partitions. The second part is about preparing our host computer uh, which means that we'll install some UDEV rules uh, using our package manager and uh, this is important to be able to talk to the phone from our computer. Then we'll download the device flasher. The device flasher is a tool that automates some steps in the flashing process, namely unlocking the bootloader, flashing the device partitions with the factory image, and then locking the bootloader again. Although uh, for the Fairphone 4 um, it does an extra check because locking the bootloader can lead to a bricked phone in some cases. And then we'll download the factory image. And of course, we'll also verify the checks checksums using um, the SHARD 256SUM tool and compare them to the checksums that are displayed on this page to be sure that we've downloaded the correct files. And the last part is about installing Calyx OS. So um, this means we run the device flasher on our computer and um, this will prompt us on the phone to um, agree to some operations, namely if we really want to unlock the bootloader before the flashing process uh, begins and then after the flashing process has completed to lock the bootloader again. Now I've changed the window layouts. On the left hand side you still have the installation instructions page from Calyx OS open and on the right hand side a Google Pixel 3 phone shown via webcam feed. So let's start by preparing our Android device. So we first unlock the device and First of all, we can see that this is indeed the stock operating system from Google uh, being installed on the phone currently with uh, the Google Play Store. Um, so the first thing we should do is enable developer options and this can be f 
uh, done in the settings menu, uh, scrolling all the way down in the settings menu, finding about phone, and then scrolling all the way down again, finding the build number option, clicking on it as many times as I needed to become a developer. Now that we are a developer, uh, we can find another system, uh, another option in the systems menu. Sorry for that. Um, which is called developer options. And in developer options, we toggle OEM unlocking to true and also USB debugging. So that's it. Now we're done with preparing uh, our Android device. Now that we've prepared our Android device, we are um, going to the second part in preparing our host computer by installing the UDEV rules using our package manager. So since we are on Debian, we're going to issue the following commands, sudo apt update and then sudo apt install Android SDK platform tools. So let's just copy that over to a terminal I have open here. Which prompts for the password. Okay, this time should should work now. Um, okay, now it works. So yeah, now we've su successfully installed the package. And we continue with downloading the device flasher. So clicking on the button prompts us where to um, where to download it to. Um, and you see I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do that again. And uh, what I would like to do is to verify the digest though. So I copy this over and then I need to type SHA-256 SUM in the file name. So back to the terminal, say SHA-256 SUM. Well, let me first actually uh, echo the checksum. And now say SHA-256 SUM and the, the uh, file name. So now you see uh, we can compare it pretty nicely and we see that they seem to match. Now that we've downloaded the device flasher and verified that we've indeed uh, downloaded the correct file, we are going to proceed and download the factory image. And you see that this is already downloaded as well, but still we want to verify that the file is the correct one, so we Again, copy the checksum over and then issue the command SHA-256 sum and the file name. So this is uh, going to take a bit longer this time because uh, it's a big file, around one and a half gigabytes big. So we see that um, it finally returned and uh, that the checksums seem to match. If you want, you can now verify the signature as well for the highest level of confidence, but I'm pretty confident that I downloaded the correct files. So that brings me to the last part, installing Calix OS. So we run the device flasher but first we need to connect the phone with a USB cable to the computer. So let's do that.
upgrades. So if we unlock the phone, we see that there's a prompt um, uh, saying if we want to allow USB debugging and we want to do that. So we press OK. And back in the terminal, we should make the device flasher file uh, executable and then execute it. So let's do that. So the command to make it executable is chmod and then plus x device flasher linux and now we simply execute the file. So now this is um, telling us that we should have done all the steps that we already did, like enabling developer options, OEM unlocking, basically all the things that we already did. So we can press enter and it detected our device um, and we can again press enter. So now you can see that the screen changed on the phone. It's prompting us to unlock the bootloader. So we simply press the volume down button until it reads unlock the bootloader and confirm with the power button. So now you can see that the bootloader is unlocked um, and the flashing process can be, uh, begin. So the flashing process completed and it's prompting the device flash is prompting us to block the bootloader again. So we'll just do that and use the power buttons to navigate to lock the bootloader and confirm with the power button. Now we can see with the green text that the bootloader is locked again and that the flashing process completed. So it's booting into the system and the last step is to disable OEM unlocking from the developer options menu. So just wait for Calix OS to boot. So now we are greeted with the setup installer. So we'll just run through it very quickly. Okay, and now that we are in the system, we navigate to the settings menu, go all the way down to about phone, click on the build number to become developer, 
and now we should be able to find the developer options menu and here we can disable OEM unlocking which is already disabled um, so yeah nothing more to do we've successfully flashed a uh, Google Pixel 3 phone with Calyx OS I hope you liked the video um,